What's up? Mark Agnesi here in the back room at Norman's Rare Guitars. And once again, it's time for Guitar of the Day. It's Friday. It's Flat Top Friday. I'm gonna have to change things up. I'm sorry, I know a lot of you guys were excited about Flat Top Friday. We got a score of guitars the other day with some very, very cool stuff. And if I don't do some of these things right now, you guys are never gonna get to see them. These things are gonna sell. I already had, this guy was a Stones fan. I already had a 63 red SG standard with the short Bigsby wiggle stick and hang tags, just like Mick Taylor's Exile on Main Street XG. And it's already gone. I didn't get to show it to you. If I don't show you guys this guitar today, we're never gonna get to see it. I've been waiting over a year for one of these to finally come through the store. So we have to do it. Forgive me about the Flat Top Friday, but I think you guys are gonna dig this. Come on back. This thing's from 1960. This is an original Les Paul TV Jr. Double cutaway. That's the Keith guitar, and that's the Johnny Thunders guitar right there. And it's one of my favorite guitars. Sorry to hit you guys with two juniors in one week, but like I said, these things aren't gonna last. If we don't catalog them now, you guys never get to see this stuff. Um, let's talk about uh, the TV models and let's talk about the double cuts because you know we do a lot of the single cut juniors. Once you get into 1958 uh, is when they go to the double cutaway body on the juniors from the single cut. Um, still the same kind of deal. Big old slab of mahogany, single dog ear P90 drilled right to it, single volume and tone. On the TVs and on the red ones on the double cuts, you'll actually start to see the uh, tortoise pit guards instead of the black guards. Um, this one is a 60. Uh, it doesn't have the super paper thin uh, slim taper neck. This is kind of that transition out of the big chunky 59. So it's still a little bit round. It's got a great carve to it, but it's not the real thin neck. But it's also, it's not the big huge neck. This thing is in really, really fantastic condition. One little ding here on the back uh, of the neck, but otherwise really super clean. Uh, let's talk about TV models and why they're called that. Why are they called TV models and why are they yellow? Here's the deal. Back in the 1950s, we're still in the era of like cathode ray television, you know? So if you bring certain guitars on there, they just don't print very well onto black and white TV. This yellow, however, shows up beautifully and was kind of for anybody who was going on TV to do some kind of television appearance on Ed Sullivan or whatever one of those shows were back then. These TV models printed a lot better uh, on the black and white TV. That's why they're called the TVs. Some people, uh, it's not even TV yellow. That's what it's become known as. This was just the TV model. It's really like a limed mahogany on the single cuts. Once you get into the double cuts, they do make a more of a yellow color. Some of the early single cut ones almost have this kind of either wheat tone to them or this kind of green almost tinge to them. Uh, this is when they get into more of the yellows. But this is a favorite of Keith. You always see Keith Richards with one of these. It's a favorite of Johnny Thunders. You always saw Johnny Thunders with TV model guitars, especially the double cut juniors. Uh, they're just really rare. They didn't make a lot of these. They're highly sought after by collectors. Look at the, I mean, the original soft shell case is in excellent shape. Pocket's still there, Gibson logo's still there. Anytime you see a soft shell case in that condition, the guitar that was in it is probably gonna be in great condition too. This one's for me today, guys. I just gotta go stick this through uh, the Tweed Blues Junior and just crank it up. I gotta get my rocks off today. What do you say we go do it? All right, we're out front. We have the 1960 Gibson Les Paul Junior TV yellow, double cutaway body. We got it going through the Tweed Blues Junior today. All the EQs at noon, a little bit of reverb. Once again, we're gonna kinda go through the different gain stages on the amps since it's just a one pickup guitar. Uh, right now, we're gonna start with the volume on about four, master on about three. Let's see what that P90 can do here. Thank you. 
amp a little bit more, get a little more gain out of it here. Let's go up to about uh, number six on the amp. We'll leave the master at the same spot. Crank the gain up a little bit more. Let's go to about nine on the amp. Let's get this thing rocking here. from 1960. Finally got one, won't be here long. Original Gibson Les Paul Jr. double cutaway, TV yellow. Just like Keith Richards, just like Johnny Thunders, it could be yours, it won't be here long. It's a good one, guys. Hey, follow me on Instagram, at Mark Agnesi, follow the store, at, at Norman's Rare Guitars, and check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. We'll see you guys tomorrow for one final episode of Guitar of the Day for the Week. Spoiler alert, it's freaking Stratter Day. We'll see you tomorrow.